Okay, so we we get a pretty uh, a fairly substantial split LP from um, uh, the Russian death metal band Go Sudar and Texas death metal band Malignant Altar, and they're actually pretty well paired here. It makes a lot of sense uh, when we consider the side of Go Sudar that is uh, more atmospheric, a little more involved. Um, their style definitely is always meandering somewhere new. It's always concerned with uh, putting a better riff after the first, and it's it's very much an old school death metal sound in that regard. But they do have modern influences and a sensibility that isn't just um, you know recycling other people's ideas. That said, it does sum up their sound to to hear you know there's a little bit of finished death metal in there. There's a little bit of um, uh, you know florida a little bit of uh, new jersey in their sound and uh, similar things could be said for malignant altar um in terms of just a little bit of incantation and morbid angel maybe different eras in their sound but generally um they're a little bit more uh, modern in their uh, rhythmic sense and in the way they uh produce more, mo I, I would call them moshable riffs. They're a little more physical, pretty typical from Texas death metal to lean into the kind of gutted, you know, that's a good record. Uh, the 95 gutted record is a good reference. Um, they cover a, a pretty important imprecation song from their debut seven inch here, and they do a great job of it. And that was kind of the highlight here. And I, you know, I like their, their original track, but I, um, I think it's a good way to go out. The, the band recently split up is uh, pulling out this pretty cool imprecation cover. I like how both songs use keyboards and uh, it pairs well with the sort of uh, a little similarly haunted feeling of the ghost Sudar side, which is um, I've compared it to Frontalith, I think maybe, oh, the, more so the first album uh, and um, maybe even a little bit of disembowelment just considering it's a 10 minute song. There's quite a lot of atmosphere that builds there. And it does have kind of a, a weaving through effect that is, you know, it's a, a loose comparison, if you will. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for death metal in December, this is probably the, the most solid, just uh, classic death metal fan choice. I think these are uh, two great bands. You know, it's a shame Malignant Altar couldn't continue. But uh, I'm such a fan of Ghost Sudar that I kind of have to get this. And I think that album art... You know, it's something I really want just to have and hang on the wall just because I'm that, that kind of idiot, you know. So uh, high recommendation for this one. Again, it's one of the better records out in December. And uh, yeah, check it out. See if that's your, your kind of thing.